So let's move on to the next talk. The always lovely Anna from my engineering team. She's going to talk about mail. She was also in our keynote presentation yesterday. Anna, here's, here's the mic. Thank you. Set up your presentation, just a sec. Right. Full screen. All right, hello. I'm gonna quickly talk about the IMAP integration we have done for Mayo. So this is the RFC 647 and it defines the integration of the IMAP protocol with a Mail client. So you have all seen this screenshot. This is what it looks like. You can accept the client and so on uh, invitations from a calendar in Mail now. And this is a bit of the technical background. Now, let me first get into the commonly used terms that we're going to be talking about today. We have the organizer, which is the person that sends or cancels an invitation. We have the attendee, which is the person who receives an invitation. And the v-event is the text file that contains all the information about the event. The parsing happens in the mail. So you receive an email, and the content header will tell you what type of message it is. So it can be one of three which is a request, a reply, or a cancel. Now, a request and a cancel are sent from an organizer, and the reply is sent from an attendee. An organizer will either send you an invitation, which you can accept with the previous dialogue, or he, will send you, he or she will send you a cancel of a previous event that you have been invited to. The attendee sends a reply, and in this reply, the really important part is to not share data that only the organizer will receive this email. So let me get into the technical considerations. Who is allowed to do what? This is the really interesting part. So the organizer has to be the one that sends the cancel. How do we check this? Well, we go through the v-event, and if you receive a reply or a cancel, we make certain checks on the attendees, certain checks on the organizers. This has been a really interesting and fascinating piece of code to write because there's just so much stuff to do. So first you have to check the email address, then you have to check the reply to header, which can also be used to define that this is an email from an organizer because sometimes you have system emails. So it is still very important that the email gets uh, processed from the system email. So set a reply to header and you should be good to go. And then you have a really, really nice feature that is a party crasher. It is actually called that in the scheduling RFC. They're called party crashers. We also have a comment in the code. Um, I really love that. And you are not allowed to party crash with IMIP. So really important to check if the attendee that is sending you a reply is actually in the original event. Because otherwise, I could just send a reply to any old email you know, a shot in the dark and invite myself to your CEO's sh stakeholder meeting or whatever and then be accepted and be able to take part in this event. Maybe I get a talk link or whatever, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing to have a security consideration like that. And then, of course, you have to write the data to the back end. Now, uh, this is the classic write to the card of back end in our case. Um, it has been a bit of a challenge to implement this with the Sabre library at the moment because of uh, all sorts of considerations on how to actually get the CALDAF backend in the code since we're from writing from mail to the CALDAF backend. But all in all, it has been a super interesting challenge. So if you want to take a look at the code or like talk to me, feel free to. I will be here all day. And this has basically been my talk. So thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much.